in the darkest corners of the Halo universe where secrets whisper and legends are born, there exists an enigmatic Easter egg that has eluded the grasp of even the most dedicated players. Today on Rocket Sloth, we are going on a journey that will lead us into the shadowy depths of one of Halo Reach's most elusive mysteries. Deep within the game's code hidden in plain sight lies a cryptic secret that only a few intrepid explorers have dared to uncover, a secret that revolves around the enigmatic beings known as the Bobs. Now, many of you may have already known of the existence of the secret elites hidden in various Halo Reach levels, but the rabbit hole here goes way, way deeper than just a simple surface level Easter egg. These ethereal entities, seemingly benign and unassuming, hold with them a power and mystery that goes far beyond their elite appearance. They exist as anomalies, phantoms, woven into the fabric of Halo Reach's universe, waiting to be discovered by those with the curiosity to see beyond the surface. Now let's do this. Imagine it's the first day that Halo Reach released, all the way back in 2010. You turned on your Xbox, watched the opening cutscene, and stumbled upon a seemingly ordinary AI-controlled elite, only to realize that it possesses a hidden encounter scripted in them. Defying the laws of the game's design, these elites move with purpose, acting autonomously and leaving players awestruck by their inexplicable presence, and then just like that, they vanish. I remember the first time I encountered a Bob. As a kid, I'd never encountered anything quite like it in a video game. I couldn't believe my eyes. These Bobs were unlike any other NPCs. I knew there was something more to them. They seemed aware almost as if they had their own agenda. It was truly mind-boggling back in 2010. It was like a brief encounter with the unknown, a glimpse into the depths of the game's hidden secrets. Now before we jump into it, instead of giving you this long ad read, if you want to support our channel, consider buying gamer subs with code Rocket Sloth. You can get a cool cup like this or some tasty flavors to add to your water. Guacamole Gamer Fart is my favorite. It's like a strawberry lime flavor. Anyways, use code Rocket Sloth. That's it. Okay, to the video. So what do these B.O.B. or Bobs represent? Are they mere programming anomalies or is there something deeper and far more profound here? Chances are the truth lies in the copy of Halo Reach that you might still have on your bookshelf today. But this mystery wouldn't reach the full extent that it would had it not been for the dedicated Halo community crafting theories and speculation as what's going on with these mysterious enemies in Halo Reach. And while many of us know about the Bob Elite Easter Egg, as many of us have killed one or two over the course of many campaign playthroughs, what's the full extent of these? How many of these Bobs truly are there? And what do they represent? But first, let's answer this. What what is the Bob Elite Easter Egg? In Halo Reach, the term Bob refers to an Easter Egg involving hidden elites that are present in every campaign level. These elites, commonly referred to as Bobs, possess unique characteristics that set them apart from the standard AI-controlled enemies. The Bobs in Halo Reach don't react the same way a standard elite would. They can wield a wide range of weapons and employ advanced strategies, making encounters with them challenging and unpredictable, and they usually are only there for a very limited time before they disappear. The mere presence of Bobs in the game have sparked speculation amongst the Halo community regarding their purpose and significance. Some series suggest that they represent remnants of an abandoned AI experiment, while others speculate that they may serve as hidden Easter eggs leading to an alternate ending to Halo Reach. But one thing's for certain, the Bob Easter eggs in Halo represent these mysterious elites that can only be encountered from players who have a strong attention to detail and it rewards players who have the eye for the obscure and are willing to jump on the opportunity to try to fight and defeat a Bob Elite. Now, some of you may be wondering why an Easter egg such as these elites being mysteriously placed throughout Halo Reach's campaign would have a name like Bob. As it turns out, when Halo Reach first released and the first group of players encountered these mysterious elites, nobody just named them Bob right off the get-go. It wouldn't be until later on, players who managed to defeat these rare and special elites would they find on their Bungie.net page medals, 
associated for killing special Bobs. Now, Bob in general has multiple references within the Bungie universe. In Halo 3, there was an Easter egg on Valhalla where the text on the wall could be updated to say barbecue at Bob's place. And more importantly, in the Marathon series, there was a class of characters known as B.O.B.s, which stood for Born on Boards, representing humans that were born on board the UESC Marathon. Now, we think likely it's just a clever homage to the Marathon franchise by naming these special rare enemies Bobs, but we can't rule out the fact that there could be something deeper here. Now, in the game, the AI, Leela, will tell players that they need to save as many of these Born on Boards as possible. However, it's a little bit different when you look at the grand scheme of Marathon. Bungie, in secret terminals hidden in the game, actually tell players that they need to kill them all. There's actually a Vidmaster challenge, which you may know these from the Halo 3 challenges, but Vidmasters date all the way back to Marathon, that states that a player must never, ever leave a single Bob alive. And I think that that might be a clue as to what this overarching narrative and Easter egg might be referring to in Halo Reach. I also think it's important that we don't gloss over the significance of what Bobs were back in the Marathon days, because they weren't just like a simple name for the class. It kind of grew into this ongoing joke at Bungie between Bungie team members and even the community that loved the Marathon games. Sure, it was funny that these characters that are supposed to be allies or companions sometimes turned into some cannon fodder, but what made the Bobs truly special were the humorous and endearing role that they played within the Bungie fan base in this pre-Halo era. The Bobs were loved because of their unpredictability and the entertainment provided adding a touch of lightheartedness to an otherwise intense gaming experience. The community's fondness for Bobs reached such heights that it became an integral part of the game's legacy. Some levels in the Marathon PC games were clearly named after Bobs, immortalizing the significance and acknowledging their status as iconic characters, and these levels often contained humorous references that were related to the Bobs themselves. Nowadays, these Bobs are a nostalgic memory for those who had experienced the early days of Marathon in the PC gaming space, and many newcomers to the gaming scenes nowadays are completely unaware of the significance and adoration that surrounds this inside joke. Nevertheless, for those who were a part of the earlier internet culture and Marathon PC gaming community, the Bobs remained a cherished and treasured part of their gaming memories. They represent a time when humor and camaraderie thrived within gaming communities online in the early form posting message board days, and the playful spirit of the Bobs resonated deeply with players who appreciated the lighter side of the gaming experience. But let's go back to 2010. After Halo Reach's release, many players converged online and discussed their findings with these mysterious elites with other Halo fans. Some people mentioned finding one in the first level, and others may have mentioned finding one in a later on level. Could this be a recurring thing? There was a lot of speculation and no clear-cut answers early on, making this one of Halo Reach's earliest mysteries taken on by the community. One of the earliest community members that was investigating this back in 2010 was a user who went by the name Never Jinx and later would update his name to Low Key Nerd. Matter of fact, on YouTube itself, if you search up Halo Reach Bob, there are multiple primitive videos from back in the day uploaded the same month Halo Reach released from Low Key Nerd exploring the mysterious Bob elites that showed up in the campaign. I remember watching his videos back in the day. I never found any myself, but I thought the search was cool. But what exactly defines a Bob? Now, in most cases, the Bobs in Halo Reach usually take the form of a gold armor Sangheili Ranger. They look like this, for example. And you may notice from its behavior, it does act a little bit oddly. It can sometimes activate invisibility or even disappear and despawn off the map. However, on some other levels, there are certain Bobs that don't have the same appearance, this time around appearing as a white armored elite, and the armor is oddly enough randomly generated. Now, like we said earlier, Lowkey Nerd was the first person to use primitive video capture technology to record all of the Bob instances that he could find. And when he started the upload, it seems like there were only five main Bob encounters that had been identified so far. But with Bungie's track record and use of the number seven, many fans expected that there would be either seven Bobs in total or at least seven levels with Bob encounters 
because of Bungie's long running history with this number. Loki Nerd would upload two videos two days after the release of Halo Reach, talking about the speculation that the community has done and also his own findings, pointing out that these Bob Elites aren't always gold, that one winter contingency elite that carries a data pad does not count as a Bob, and he found one to two per level with the exception of New Alexandria, and maybe there was none on Exodus either. He also pointed out that the Bobs would spawn in a different location if you failed to kill them, meaning you would have to look for them all over again. Now, this was uploaded years ago, like 12 years ago, and to this day, Lowkey Nerd still uploads content on YouTube. So I actually managed to join his Discord server and reach out to him to ask him specifically about his experience with these Bob Elites. He pointed out that during the time of him covering this stuff on YouTube, he was in his late teens, still in high school, using an old capture card device and some defunct editing software. When he stumbled upon a forum post talking about gold elites, that's where it piqued his interest and he started looking into it. In our conversation, he said this specifically that I thought was interesting. It's still not fully understood what makes them spawn and what doesn't, but mixing up difficulties and checkpoints seemed to work. Only one Bob would spawn per map, but it could be found at various checkpoints. It basically amounted to hundreds of restarts at different checkpoints on different difficulties, sometimes re-watching footage just to find them. Nowadays, Loki Nerd doesn't really upload Halo content, though he did mention he played a bit of Infinite, playing competitive and leveled up to Onyx before stopping with the game. And here, as he uploads content on a ton of other games like newer competitive shooters or MMOs, I was spending my time digging through his old ancient uploads from 12 years ago. After there was a surge of interest in the Bobs from the first two videos Loki Nerd uploaded, he continued his search and would find more information about other Bobs that would be discovered. A third and fourth part to his channel, clarifying that multiple bobs can spawn in multiple locations, and of course the one spawn per level. Now the community had theorized that if you obtained 77 bob medals, something would happen, like an alternate cutscene ending or something, but Loki Nerd had already reached 78 bobs as he was searching for each and every possible spawn across different difficulties discussed, and he debunked this theory. Nearly a month after the search for these bobs had begun, part 5 and 6 would release, showing even more locations and potential spawn locations of Bob, and it seemed like with every new upload, the mechanics behind finding the Bobs seemed more and more advanced. By two months into the investigation, only one more Bob had been found, and it was more interesting than the rest of them. You see, on the level Long Night of Solace, if you move quick enough, there is this strange Bob Elite that spawns over here in a Banshee, and upon shooting the Banshee to be EMP'd and it stopping and getting the Bob to jump out, the Bob will clip into the ground and quickly despawn. This Bob was interesting. It was unlike anything else, and with there already being a decent gap since any other Bobs had been discovered, for the most part, fans assumed that this is it, that this was the final Bob to be discovered. Still, there weren't too many answers as to what these characters were or why they were in the game, and what the purpose of them were, and if Bungie would ever even acknowledge their existence beyond the metal on Bungie.net. For the most part, that was it. All the Bobs were found, and it seemed like they were located and documented with most of the spawns being uncovered, and the story ended there. It was still a cool easter egg nonetheless, but that maybe was all that it was for players to search for. And it was looking like Bungie maybe would never acknowledge this easter egg. At least that was the case until Bungie did something unexpected. Through all of this, it was assumed that there were no bobs on New Alexandria or Exodus, because New Alexandria focused on a lot of flying sections, and Exodus was a level consisting mostly of just brutes as the main force of enemies. However, on the week of January 11th, nearly four months after Halo Reach's release, a new challenge actually appeared for XP in the daily weekly challenge section of the menus, which was, in this case, to kill the secret Bob on New Alexandria. After all of that, the common thing that everyone came together and assumed was there were no Bobs on New Alexandria or Exodus, everything had been discovered, and all of a sudden Bunchy comes and drops a Bob challenge specifically for a level that nobody had found the Bob for just just yet. What? At this point, it was almost like Bungie was teasing the community, knowing the search and the common perception that there was no Bob on New Alexandria. So with that, the search for this final Bob continued, and it wouldn't be long until players located the secret Bob that everyone missed. And it's even weirder. Not only is this Bob more enigmatic than the rest, as he's flying super fast in a very short spawn-in period way towards the far boundaries of 
of New Alexandria with only a very short amount of time for you to locate and then actually shoot down the Banshee as if you wait too long this Banshee will despawn and your chance will be gone but upon killing this specific Bob here on New Alexandria for whatever reason no medal is awarded on Bungie.net so had this Bungie challenge not exist nobody would have even known that this counted as a Bob because there was no medal associated with it the only way we knew that this counted as a Bob was because it would fulfill the weekly challenge requirement to get the experience points and once again this was a very very hard to find Bob you have to wait around 10 to 20 minutes just for him to spawn in and then once again you have a very short window to even kill it so that begged the question now there was a Bob discovered on New Alexandria one that nobody thought existed so could that mean that there was one hidden away on Exodus that nobody had found either. To my recollection, Exodus doesn't have very many elites. It's all brutes, grunts, jackals, skirmishers. Well, it wouldn't be long until a user with the name Mr. Shadow actually managed to discover one on Exodus on Legendary Difficulty, which he then shared with Loki Nerd, and Loki Nerd made a video showing off the newly discovered hidden Bob on Exodus, who of course was also in a Banshee, an aspect that people weren't looking too deeply into in the initial initial search until after the New Alexandria one was found. This Bob had similar traits to the one on New Alexandria, spawning kind of in the outside, once again in a Banshee, and only visible for a very short amount of time where you have to move quickly to get the kill off, and if you didn't know that it was a Bob in the first place, you would have trouble identifying it unless you went into maybe theater mode to check again and make sure that that actually was an Elite. But sure enough, this was also a Bob. This opened up the realm for new possibilities with what and where bobs could spawn since we now knew we could look for them in Banshee. This was something that not too many people had realized in the initial search. But then we get to June 2011, eight months after the release of Halo Reach, one more bob was discovered on the level of the package. And this was during the firefight section, way off in the distance, another Banshee bob will spawn in very briefly and you only have moments to take it out before it despawns again. But this was the final bob that would be uncovered Covered. And while it didn't lead to any massive storytelling elements like an alternate cutscene or something crazy, it still led for a massive search and adventure that a lot of fans really appreciated. And to this day, there's still the question in the air, were there more Bobs that went unnoticed? It took eight months for players just to find the last one, and at what point did people stop looking when there could be more lurking in the background? With how many Bobs there were and how few people actually were looking for them at this point, begs the question, were all of them truly discovered? Was there something hidden for players who would find all of these? They were so elusive and rare, it made it seem like a part of a bigger puzzle. But is there still more to this Easter egg? Maybe we'll have to wait and see. Perhaps there are more Bobs out there that no one has discovered just yet. The Bob Easter egg in Halo Reach holds significant symbolism in representing the legacy that Bungie was leaving behind as they moved on to new horizons. Halo Reach being Bungie's final Halo game before parting ways with Microsoft to embark on their ambitious project, Destiny, carried a weight of farewell and transition. By incorporating an easter egg referencing one of the biggest jokes from the pre-Halo era, Bungie crafted a profound homage to their roots while simultaneously making a statement about the future. The inclusion of this easter egg speaks to Bungie's deep appreciation for their own history and loyal fanbase that had supported them throughout the years. By referencing Bob's, Bungie acknowledged the early days of their game development journey, playing tribute to the beloved characters that had become an integral part of their legacy. This gesture demonstrated Bungie's reverence for their past accomplishments and the community that had embraced their games. Furthermore, the Bob Easter egg can be seen as a symbolic bridge between the past and the future. As Bungie ventured into uncharted territories with Destiny, they made a subtle yet powerful statement about their commitment to innovation and evolution by playfully incorporating a reference to Bob's, where now Bungie was solidifying two pieces of their history together by taking the term Bob and assigning them to something very Halo, these elites. And while today, Bungie looks completely different than what it did back in the Halo Reach era, or especially the Marathon era, this easter egg serves as a reminder that the community that loved Marathon and the community that loved Halo Reach did in fact exist. Those memories were real, and now they are etched in stone in Halo Reach. I wouldn't be surprised if one does get discovered down the road, though the likelihood of an alternate ending probably seems rare. I feel like that would have been data mined at this point in time. But who knows? Maybe Maybe there is an official timeline where Noble Six survives and escapes to a cave, but for now, I'll leave you with some closing words from my message exchange with Low Key Nerd. It was a fun thing 
to do with the boys. But hey, if you enjoyed this video, maybe make sure you're subscribed with notifications on so you see more videos like this in the future. Also, go check out Loki Nerd, link in the description. He covers a ton of video game topics and maybe you'll find them interesting. But seriously, this man is a legend with all of the footage that he used to document everything about this. And we wouldn't have a cool story to piece together if it wasn't for his video. We really wanna give a huge, huge, huge shout out to our patrons for supporting our channel. Anyone who pledges a couple of dollars throws it our way. It helps make videos like this possible where we do a little more research we dig into these stories from the past that are often forgotten about. This was a big deal back in the day, and to this day, nobody really knows the full depth of how deep this Easter egg went. A lot of people know about bombs, but it was just like a surface level understanding. Look how deep we were able to go back and see the historical aspect. It was a lot of fun to do research on, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope the video turned out well. So once again, you can check out our Patreon if you have a couple dollars burning a hole in your pocket you want to throw our way. That'd be pretty cool. But otherwise, thanks so much for the support. That's it for today. We'll see you guys all next time with a brand new video.